Merry Meet everyone! It's Nicole the Blind Mage and today I'm going to be talking about what I think magic does. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone that subbed to me. I now have 54 subscribers and Woo! I appreciate all those that are following and liking my videos. It's crazy that I've only been on here for just over two months and I have so many already and I appreciate it because sometimes you wonder if what you're making film videos of is worth it or if you liked it or not. So talking to Dashe on Instagram, she asked me a question and the question was if I was Wiccan and when people believe in spiritual beliefs they can fall into a couple of categories of magic. Either they can be Wiccan, Pagan, Voodoo, Shaman, Druid, or New Age religion. And when she asked me this question, I had to stop and think because, <clears throat> sorry, when I first started learning about magic, I thought I was Wiccan. But over time, I realized that wasn't the case. When people look into what religion they want to focus on with magic, they focus more on the traditions and customs that are what break the magic in different branches. <clears throat> for example, for Pagan Wiccan, you focus more on the Sabbaths or the eight holidays of the harvest. Druids focus more on the earth and how to do back, which Tide Counterbalance says everyone should be focused on that with magic. <laughs> um, shamans focus more on tradition and ideas that were passed down for generations. And <clears throat> voodoo, I don't know enough about that to comment on it. So I'm going to leave that one alone because I would hate to say something and it not be true and you guys think it is. I think if you're interested and want to learn more about Voodoo, you should contact Grayson Wild with an E on Instagram. Oh yeah, because like he knows a lot more about it than I do. <laughs> um, for me, like I said, I wasn't really sure at first what I believed in, so I did a lot of research and I found out that <clears throat> although. I enjoyed the concept of Wicca and some of their saps. It wasn't me. My core belief in magic is magic at its core. And that is that you should be open and welcoming to any situation and focus more on how you can help another person instead of how you can help yourself. I believe in the basic rule of three which is that whatever you put onto the world will come back to you threefold and that can be either positive or negative energy. I also believe that when dealing with magic that if you're open-minded and go into the world not having expectations, anything can happen. You can meet new friends, you can learn something about yourself, and you can even learn about magic that at first you didn't know about. That's why the name of my channel is The Blind Mage because back in our freedom period people were trying to be either sorcerers or mages and they decided that on if the person was practicing light or dark magic and <clears throat> I feel like I would be more amazed because of the fact that even though I can understand why people do hexes and curses, I would never do it. And that's why I see myself more of a white witch than anything else. And I feel like I'd be more amazed at a witch because of the fact that I love learning about ancient lore and history. And recently I've been trying to learn about more of the ancient practices such as ruins and herbology, then more of the modern day ideas of what 
remedies can be used for like quick cures. As I mentioned, I'm still a novice and I feel like I still have a long way to do in my own mental journey. And I'm grateful to have two teachers. One is Robin K, since I'm not the to butcher her last name. <laughs> she is on Facebook and I go to her for tarot and herbology advice. And then the other one I most recently found was Grayson Wild with me. I went to him about tarot, but he also helped me through not planned guide meditation and he helped me see a vision that was clouded to me. Ooh. And because of that, I found out that Morgana Le Fay, which is Alfarian lore, was trying to contact me, which was very epic. <laughs> because most of the times when goddesses and gods want to contact me, they send their spirit guide, which is usually animal. Usually that you're being an owl for a fina or a wolf for Artemis. Or sometimes just having like this good vibe from Loki <laughs> when I fall off with a trip. Once again, thank you everyone for subscribing to me. I really appreciate it. And let me know what you think. If you liked hearing more about my journey and my personal thoughts about magic, leave a comment below. And until next time, bless the be.